Hi guys, I'm Greg Alba. And I'm John Humphrey. Do you like our new set? Do you like our new set? And now nah, there's a reason why we're super late to this. I just simply couldn't wake up. <laughs> Back in super late. <laughs> we uh, have to be out of this apartment in less than 24 hours. We got a lot more packing to do, including this camera and all the film equipment and computers and stuff right now. Mm -hmm. So I want to give a heads up to all of our subscribers that if anything big drops between Wednesday through probably Saturday, <laughs> we will probably not be able to cover it on YouTube, you know? You know, I, I, anytime something big drops like this, people, we won't be able to. I appreciate that love and support, but you know, we got personal life stuff to tend to <laughs> at the moment. But we do have some uh, videos that have not been uploaded for April, so we're just gonna upload those, um, you know, once a day for the next few days. Algorithm. Don't worry, guys. There's still gonna be a plenty of people in the comments being like, "Skip to 1:30 for the reaction." <laughs> Even though I'm trying to give an important explanation why if we can't cover something big this week, if something big comes out and we happen to upload something that is not big, there's a reason why. <laughs> By Sega. Evil Dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Hey, he furry. <laughs> 20 minutes ago, that energy surge knocked out power across the entire Pacific Northwest. This needs someone who can figure out exactly what we're dealing with. You're not suggesting who I think you're suggesting. There he is. <laughs> Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. No! My wrong. I'm in charge. Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on a level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stump? The doctor thinks you're basic. Listen, pal. I don't okay. know if you realize I'm who... sorry, Major. What was your name? Ben. Nobody cares! Uh huh. Clearly not that fast. <laughs> what? He's like the Flash. <laughs> That's cool though. That's cool though. Oh, is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Oh, whatever this culture is, our job is to secure it, neutralize it, see what makes it tick. <laughs> Quicksilver! <laughs> yeah, all right, Zeus. <laughs> Stay in there and be quiet. How much longer? I can't breathe in here. Do you have your child in that thing? No. I mean, yes, it's a child, but it's not mine. <laughs> I thought I thought him with the hair was it. No, <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I was like, okay, I guess that's the costume. And I was the, like, there ooh, we go. They're keeping him like they uh, have to very show. grounded human for a lot of this. The day James Marson has a line in a trailer that is completely funnier than anything <laughs> Jim Carrey said <laughs> in this trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was... That was weird. That was funny. Well, Detective Pikachu, this is not... <laughs> And honestly, I don't know if Detective Pikachu is going to be a good movie. For all I know, this movie might be good. As it stands, what did I like? I liked 
that one joke at the end of James Hardson. <laughs> okay. I don't have Sonic nostalgia, like, at all. Mm-hmm. You played the games growing up. You've I seen played some... the games. I've seen some of the cartoons. Right, right. I've never seen the cartoon. I have only played the games when I'm at a friend's place <laughs> and they own a video game okay. of Sonic. So I, I didn't have Sega growing up. So, uh, like, to me, there's no nostalgia lore here that's being tampered with. So I can't, I can't comment on that at all. What I can comment on is just what this trailer is showing me for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay. I thought that was a really <laughs> bad trailer. I, I wasn't. I, and, and, and it's a long trailer, too. And they have moments in here that that are really playing out like that whole thing with Jim Carrey and that guy who should be more famous. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's been in tons of in things tons over of movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I played the a guy b- the played a bison, and I think in the Street <laughs> Fighter that Chun Li won. This looks like it would be an annoying movie to sit through. It, it looks kind of does. It doesn't look like so bad. It it would be funny. It, it doesn't look like it knows what it wants to be. This feels to me as if they didn't know what to do with it, and so they. Didn't did the formula, the, the most cliche kind of formula you do with an adaptation like this mm-hmm. in order to try to make it work. You know, you make up the, I, I don't imagine this James Marston the character. The government plot and yeah. there's this yeah, small town cop and he meets Sonic and yeah. then Sonic has to help with this government plot. And Sonic being seen <laughs> through the eyes of James Marston, I, I, I don't feel like Sonic... Even though I've just said I, I don't really, I don't know Sonic the backstory and everything. I from what I do know about him and how he's such like a charming leading character already. He's got personality. Does he need that human sidekick guy? You know, like I don't feel like he needs it. Yeah. The only thing I can really give this in terms of like the Sonic ability is I I think that there are moments that look really cool visually. When he like starts running and he does the ball thing and the yeah. car flips over, that was one of the few moments in the trailer where I was like, well, that could be pretty cool. There are moments you know, that like look like cool. the action looks cool, like with yeah. the remiss of like the flash or Quicksilver because it's Sonic's you know abilities and also with the ring stuff. Was, uh, <laughs> there was one moment that was like right out of Doctor Strange here. I remember when the design first came out, fans were not happy about it. Uh, Even fur, like decidedly fur. <laughs> oh, is that what they were? I thought it, we didn't know about. I thought it was something about his legs or something. I forgot what it was. Something about his size, the way he was shaped. But probably that too. Yeah. Um, but I know there was an issue about people kind of being iffy. He about He is the fur. furry. Yeah. It feels like a weird attempt to make him feel more real. Yeah, or, or, or more endearing or something. I don't know. Like, I haven't seen one rendered where he's just smooth and as I recall him from the game. So, I mean, yeah. it, is Sonic, I mean, he is a hedgehog. Yeah, it would make sense for him to have fur. It's just in all the games you see him one particular way. It just isn't illustrated to evoke the look of fur. Well, actually, you know what? It, there, there's a point where I was about to say... <laughs> You know, like, I get past it. But at the same time, I'm like, Sonic's a pretty iconic looking character for like 30 years, man. If you're going to make your big screen adaptation, you should probably stay as faithful as possible when you can, since the character is animated, even in the live action version. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, and I'm (laughs) conflicted. I mean, I like, of all the choices that they've made with this, I'm like, hey, maybe the fur can work over the course of a whole movie. But I I know that that was an issue. Yeah, it's the least. The this is the least of the problems, though. Yeah. This does not look like it has anything really special to offer other than if you were such a hardcore Sonic fan and you want to see Sonic do some stuff on the big screen. Because right now, this this just looks... Uh, it doesn't look uniquely Sonic, really. It looks rather flat. Yeah, it looks like a lot of other movies you've seen. Yeah. It's funny you made the Detective Pikachu comparison at the top of this because I think Tim Miller is involved and it's like, at least as of the cartoon, it's like I don't remember Sonic ever talking much in the game. In the cartoon, you know, he's got that kind of like oh, cool and, and, personality and, and, no, and the, wisecracking and stuff. And, and, and the later games, he there's like, you know, cinematic. Yeah, when they stuff. get more yeah. funny and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think Ben Schwartz is a 
fine choice. You know, it's like in another universe, I could totally see Ryan Reynolds doing this role if he wasn't already Pikachu. <laughs> it's like, I think Jim Carrey is a great choice to play Dr. Robotnik, especially at the end when he's like the full character design with the crazy mustache and the goggles and all that stuff. But I wonder how much of this movie he's going to spend being sort of subdued Robotnik, being in disguise. Well, I like, I, I almost wonder if this is the movie that's going to give you kind of what you wanted, but only at the very end. Yeah, I guess they're building up for us. This franchise, yeah, that's definitely like a very oh, edge shot. Tails and yeah. knuckles in here too. Yeah, oh, we're gonna have them all show up at the end. Shit, get a they shadow get, of the they, hedgehog movie the, when they that, gotta That's get gonna be a post credit scene. Yeah, you know it's gonna be like gritty. a post credit scene <laughs> when you could have just made a cool Sonic movie and filled the world of the Sonic characters instead of this I don't... weird. Trying to be more... Is that something the filmmakers have said? Uh, Would this to be more grounded? I don't know. I mean, they said they're aiming for a family audience, which I can kind of see. Um, and, and in that sense, I can sort of... Well, I, I think guess, Sonic should. Yeah, yeah. And, and you watch the cartoons. I mean, a lot of the cartoons are pitched at younger children, so... It's a lighthearted video came out of play. Yeah, it's yeah it's totally. I mean, you're, you're, kids, yeah. you're zipping around the, the woods in various nature places, collecting rings and trying to thwart the doctor from turning all your friends into robots. Yeah. And so, like, I'm wondering, like, what's this government plot? Why are they hiring Dr. Robotnik to help with it? You know, like, I don't know, yeah. I, I, I don't have a lot of faith in this right now. And I did not love the choice to go with Gangster's Paradise for whatever that reason. That made no <laughs> sense. I mean, yeah. You know, sometimes you hear a popular song or, you know, one of those covers, you, like, maybe pick up a line or two that makes you go, oh, I get why they use <laughs> this. But this one, I'm like, what? Is Sonic a gangster? Is that, is that what we're supposed to take away from that? It could be all right. It, it could be, but I don't know. I hope James Marsden is good. He's always he's good at just showing like up. the best part yeah. of this movie. <laughs> he's always good at being good in stuff that's otherwise not that good. <laughs> this is a divisive film, I imagine. Comment below. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. You got shit to do. <laughs>